Welcome to Craft Shop. I'm your host, Dana. Exposed zippers are a really hot trend right now. Lots of your favorite stars are wearing this look. In this episode, I'm going to show you an awesome DIY creation, a zipper t-shirt. This project is super easy to make and looks great on. Let's get started. To make this project, you'll need the following materials. Any kind of t-shirt. Could be a new one, or one you've had around for a while that you want to update. If you're using a new shirt, make sure to wash it first if it's the kind of material that might shrink, like cotton. A 7-inch zipper in any metal or fabric backing you choose. Fabric glue, chalk, cardboard, scissors, and a ruler. I've chosen a bold solid color to contrast with my zipper, but there are no limits to the looks you can make with this craft. So have some fun playing around with your options. I'm going to keep it simple and put the zipper straight down the center. You want to line the top of the metal part of the zipper to the top of the shirt, like this. See these fabric tabs at the top of the zipper? We'll be folding them over the collar, so don't worry about them for now. Line up your ruler and measure 7 inches from the top of the collar. Mark it with chalk. Now I'm ready to cut. 7 inches, the length of my zipper. I'm going to slip a piece of cardboard that's at least as long as my zipper between the front and the back of the shirt. This will keep the fabric glue from seeping through. Place the zipper on top of the shirt because we're ready to attach it with the fabric glue. Glue the base of the zipper first. A dot of glue and then hold in place for 10 seconds. Now I'm ready to move up the sides. I'd like to glue a couple of inches at a time, pressing for 10 seconds to make sure it's super attached and then keep moving up. Be very careful the glue doesn't get on the metal. We want to make sure you can close the zipper and the glue might clog it. Now. I'm ready to do the other side. And there you go. I'm ready to glue the tabs to the inside of the collar, which will give it a nice, clean finish. Now for the other side. All glued. Let's give it a zip. Fantastic. Here are some other styles you can create using the same technique we did today. Now that you've made your very own designer t-shirt, feel free to wear it as is or layer it with a tank underneath for the right pop of color. Don't forget, have fun and be creative. Thanks for watching Craft Shop on Fairville.com.